Well, hello everyone. Uh, Supervisor Jim Desmond here with your Wednesday, uh, June 24th uh, COVID and San Diego County uh, update. Um, we continue to do more and more testing here in San Diego County and I, you know, everybody uh, should be able to get a test that wants a test now, symptoms or not. Uh, as of today and yesterday, we almost had 7,000 tests per day, whereas a month ago in uh, May, about the uh, same time, on the 24th of May, we only had 3,700 tests. Uh, on, on the 26th of May, only 3,000 tests. So we've almost doubled the number of tests uh, here in San Diego County, which is a good thing. But however, the more we test, the more we find people that uh, have uh, the virus. Not necessarily that they have the symptoms, but more people that have the virus. About 85% of those with the virus have either no or very few symptoms. But so with our numbers going up, uh, with the number of t people uh, getting the test or being tested, the number of people positive are, is rising also. Uh, we have a 14-day rolling average of 3.1% of the people being tested are testing positive. Overall, it's about a 4% uh, per, uh, percentage of people that test positive since we started testing. And in, in yesterday, it was a 5%. So the numbers are still very, very low as compared to, um, uh, you know, for the amount of testing that we're actually doing. Uh, we still have about 73% of those that have been tested have come off the, you know, have uh, gone through the 14-day uh, isolation period. So 73% uh, of those. And uh, however, our hospital numbers have gone up about 10%, which actually isn't too bad. I know people are going to say, oh my gosh, the hospital numbers are going up. Well, we're doubling the testing from what we were doing before, and the hospital numbers are going up about 10%. So I think we're still doing pretty good. Uh, the numbers are correlating and, and uh, making sense. Yesterday at the uh, Board of Supervisors uh, meeting, I made another motion to try to get more businesses open in San Diego County. And what we're trying to do is, is get gatherings, you know, and managed and controlled gatherings uh, 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 to push those a little bit further. In particular, weddings and meeting rooms and hotels. I mean, restaurants are open, bars are open, you know, at least with weddings and with, with uh, you know, private meetings and things like that. You have an attendance, you know who was there. And with weddings, you have a guest list, you know who's been there. Whereas if you go into a bar or restaurant, they don't, they don't have those same type of uh, uh, tracking uh, ability. So uh, I pushed uh, again to have churches with no, uh, no capacity, just a social distancing capacity, limits in churches, to, uh, to get the guidance for street fairs, for playgrounds, for wedding receptions, meeting room, hotel meeting rooms and conventions, and also for team competitions. There's quite a few competitions that could be held out there. One in particular was being, we were being asked about was... Uh, Crew, com uh, crew boating uh, competitions where you've got uh, crews out there rowing together or sailing together or sailboat races, those types of things. So we pushed and asked, sent a letter to the governor asking for more advice or more guidance on trying to get those businesses open. Um, we realize our numbers are going up and we've, we've uh, tripped one of our triggers, one of 13 of our triggers. We've tripped one of those and we're going to be holding off on opening businesses. But the idea was to get those guidelines now when our, tri when our triggers are no longer tripped. Uh, then we can already, we'll be able to uh, open up those businesses and we'll already have the guidelines. So thanks for checking in. We're going to keep pushing. We'll keep you updated on the numbers and uh, we'll talk to you next.